when a lot of people are struggling to swim, they raise their chin and they lift their head up to the sky, hoping to keep their air. But what happens is that it, it's much harder to swim because your body becomes vertical on the water. As you lift your chin, your legs sink and your legs ultimately point to the bottom of the pool, which isn't where we want to be going. So as soon as you put your chin down and put your face into the water, your legs lift and you become horizontal in the pool. And that way you're able to move towards where you want to go. In this next clip, I'm going to uh, demonstrate this to you so you can see the difference between being vertical in the water and being horizontal and moving towards safety. When someone begins to struggle in the water, the first in instinct that they might have is to raise their mouth for more air. The problem with this is that it makes us vertical in the water. Let me show you what that looks like. When I have my head out of the water, my body is completely vertical, as you can see here. And I'm a very strong swimmer, but this is very difficult for people to maintain this position. If, if you can notice, my feet are pointing towards the bottom of the pool, and where my body points is inevitably where it's going to start to move. So I want to learn that when I'm struggling, I don't want to have my head reaching up out of the water, trying to keep my mouth above to be able to swim. What happens is that I'm stuck here, and as I get tired, I start to sink under the water. Now there's a very easy way we can fix this, and instead of doing what we first think we should, which is lifting our mouth, we can put our chin down, put our face in the bottom, um, put our face in the water, look to the bottom of the pool, and our body will become horizontal. Let me show you what this looks like. By simply putting my face in the water, I become horizontal and I start to move forward. I'll show you how, what it looks like trying to get to the wall. So this is one reason we really encourage you to encourage your children to learn to put their face in and to understand what it's like to move towards where they want to get to. So ultimately, we can put our face in, become horizontal on top of the water, and make it back to safety.